feel like this is such a top touchy subject. I'm a fucker. I'm a fucker for the culture. My original team wouldn't let me out the contract. What I decide if I say that that's just not gonna work, that's just not gonna work. Welcome back to my channel. We're gonna be doing a Q and A, real, real chill. We're gonna be doing a mukbang because the first Q and A, baby. Let me just tell y'all how it went. Let me just leave this right here. This is my first time having a personal Cosmigos. I've had, yo, Cosmigos is different. Like, I don't think I've ever drawn straight Cosmigos like this. But I'm gonna just show y'all how much I drunk. But I have some champagne. And for the question, because there's like two or three questions I don't want to answer out of respect and courtesy, because we don't speak on certain shit. I'm going to probably take a sip of the champagne but we're not doing no hard liquor because i want to make it to the gym tomorrow morning so this is my shot we're gonna do andre but anyway we got five guys y'all this is my first time getting a this is my first time getting ketchup and mustard on my burger so i get the little cajun fries i get so i get a lettuce burger you usually get the the bacon burger it comes with double patty but i get it wrapped in lettuce instead of regular bread so i get a bacon burger wrapped in lettuce tomato 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 mushroom and sometimes i'll do grow onion sometimes i'll do regular and then it's my first time getting ketchup and mustard mm -mm. How am I mentally? Mentally, you guys, I'm a wreck. Regardless, I'm like a, I'm a real soldado. Like I'm a real soldier. Like I'm always gonna be mentally good. It's stressing me out. People fail to realize I'm not just a. Uh, I'm a maid of honor, but I'm not just planning bachelorette things. Like, there's more that goes into it, especially behind the scenes, you feel me? And I would not change it for anything. It's fun, it's exciting, so I'm just really trying to enjoy the process more. But I feel like you have to also think about people, what they like, what's appropriate for them. So learning as well that I can't control everything. Sometimes it's good to designate stuff to people while I focus on the bigger picture at hand. And then I feel like a lot of people have opinions and stuff, but it's, at the end of the day, it's what I decide. If I say that that's just not gonna work, that's just not gonna work. That's just what it is because nobody knows them better than I do. So, I'm trying to protect my peace. Um, I just feel like some people are doing too much. Um, so yeah, protect my peace and I'm trying to enjoy the process. But I still trying to accommodate somebody, but like when you start to get to overstepping, I'm gonna start to push back, so. That's where I'm at right now. I'm starting to fall back. Um, because people are doing too much but also learning I can't control everything but also knowing how the pe how people are and giving people certain roles so that's the tricky part people don't get that like why certain people are important why it's important to have this why it's important to not have this you don't get that half of these people with so many opinions are not giving any funds like is it is it lonely to live alone yes and no at first like when i first lived alone 
I was like, what, what do I do? Like, I was scared. My first, <clears throat> my first year of living alone, pretty much, I was never home. Thank God. If y'all watch that ex best friend story time, I didn't really go in depth, but just know I was never home. And now I can't wait to come home. Like somebody be, I be out or like doing stuff. And I'm like, I had enough of people today. Like, I just want to go home. Like, ain't nothing like, I feel like everybody should live alone. And I did the roommates. I did living with a whole guy in a house with a dog. Like, I did it all. Like, I feel like having that experience, whether you have the dog, the living with somebody first or on your own, you need that living alone part. So, i rather pay that extra to live by myself. But yeah, living alone is cool. Am I still on a fitness journey? Uh, I slept off a bit during the holidays, but now we're back up on it. I, I went to the gym yesterday, excuse me. I didn't go today, but we're going tomorrow at 5 a.m. Do I still sell hair? No, I don't sell hair anymore. Um, I still have hair, but before I left Tampa, I sold off my hair. And I have a few more other things before I want to get back into selling hair, but no, I don't. Do I still sell Herbalife? So with Herbalife um here's the deal i was a part of a team um the owners my coach ended up leaving um but the owners of the team they pretty much switched up y'all like they got this is what it was i'm just gonna be a hundred they got clout and it was never fun anymore to do herbal life and they started pretty much getting a big head and a lot of the stuff we used to do, um, we couldn't do anymore. They started deleting my messages and just a whole bunch of off the wall funny stuff. In Tampa, I would go to a Herbalife shop and I would talk to this other team and I'm like, I was, it's Herbalife is weird. Once you under, once you understand the structure and who you're really a part of, then it's, it's good. But I was also a part of their team you feel me? Their structure, their organization. This Herbalife shop I went to, even though they weren't my coaches, um, I found out after. So I was like, I used to go there time and time, and I used to tell the guy like, "Yo, am I tripping?" And he was like, "No." Um, to tell you the truth, they have no personality. They're all about money. Da da da. You could tell. So I was like, okay. So. Instead of wallowing in self-pity after they blocked me and kicked me out, they were scared to speak up. And I'm like, I'm be the voice, the voice for those who can't have it. Y'all, y'all are dead wrong. So after that whole situation, I tried to move to my friend's team. Now her team, how it was set up, she had no direct leadership, which I hated. I hated this because I also met her through another Herbalife shop real cool my daughter if you're watching this solid but the thing is i just wish that they had you would, i would pretty much have to start from the ground up meaning like challenges and shit where you get cash prizes i would have to put in money versus the, the coaches at a big level they're putting up the money you feel me um that's the only thing i didn't like it was so hard for me to talk about because I was so unhappy and I wanted to join another team but I couldn't because they wouldn't sign the papers and I'm like and Herbalife is like and then Herbalife removes me from my friend's team and was like you can't do that and I explained the situation and they're like they the only way they're gonna let you out is either you wait out the year and don't purchase anything and don't purchase anything or they sign the papers they're not gonna sign the papers so i was almost close to a year but then my ex co-worker from work purchased something and then i was like i didn't want to tell her she really needed something and then i was then i had to wait a whole nother year so i'm out of my contract but i haven't joined the team um 
and I feel like picking a team is so important because you want someone that is consistent you feel me so if I ever do decide to go back to Herbalife it's going to be with somebody that's consistent and have a good leadership because I feel like that's so important oh and I already have my eye on who I would join I don't want somebody that fell off their journey and is trying to get back on it again. Last text message. Who was it from? My last text message is sent. Hmm. I'm not going to say who, so I feel like I have to say kind of like a baby shot of champagne. But it said, please. It was a part of a, a message, but it said, please. And then the last text message I sent was to my mom about a desk that I I need. That she was supposed to buy me for my birthday, y'all. But I finally sent it, so let me take half the shot. I don't want waterfall on it, but yeah. This is how much Andre champagne is in there. So even if I do drink that whole thing, y'all, I'm not going to get fucked up. <laughs> last awkward moment my birthday she said i hope you at the end of my massage because i had gone to massage she was like i hope you let's talk about that birthday i want to massage with the happy ending i'm gonna just be real i i was low-key sitting there like damn i wish i had a happy ending <laughs> sure said, so, i hope you have a good rest of your birthday and I said, thanks. Thanks. I hope you do too. And then I was like, wait. Not have a good birthday. Obviously, it's not her birthday. But have a good day too. And I feel like when I first got there, I was a little jarbled. And like, I was hungry. And I was like, yeah. So, my last happy moment. My last happy moment would have to be my my dinner, my birthday dinner with my family and a coworker from work and my grandma. Yo, I'm literally like an old soul. Like, I enjoyed that so much. It was kind of crazy. And then I had this drink at Yard House. The food, I had lobster linguine with shrimp, but then I had chicken nachos and then I had this dragon drink it was like pink dragon or something it was smoky so good i feel like anything with a dragon at the end cocktail is gonna be good everything was so good like i definitely would be back i even had like i'm not a dessert person but like they sang me happy birthday and i had the creme brulee thing it was good too like creme brulee cheesecake mmm Also good with the ketchup and the mustard. Did I smash Marla? No, I didn't smash Marla. Um, do I want to smash Marla? Yeah. I feel like I would, um, as somebody asked, who was I going back and forth with? Um, and what happened with her? Was it her? Who was it? Well, it was Marla back a few months ago the thing about that is i feel like the reason why i tri i went off the way i went off i don't know why she went off the way she went off but um i feel like she made it seem like i was the one only pursuing her when that was not the case, uh, there's plenty of, I feel like it was both equal. Plenty of times where I was, I was on her body and she was on my body and I wasn't responding to me heavy. So that's why I had to pull up the screenshots because at that time it was like, which I never exposed to, but I feel like at that time it was like going off on me saying, you never f, f me and this and that, but when in text messages is a completely different case. But since then, y'all, we squashed that. Since the whole Instagram thing, um, we were still talking for a minute. But recently, I ended it, removed the locations, 
because I feel like at this point it was like, is either you with it or not? I'm a fucker because I feel like I have to for the culture because after all of that, but yeah, I just, I blocked her, removed the location. Uh, still have her on Instagram because she sent me something the other day. But other than that, yeah. What happened to Providence, girl? You can watch that story time, but pretty much, I feel like at our age, I feel like at a certain point, you can't say certain things. You feel me? Even when you're mad, it's like, okay, well, damn, do you really feel that way? And certain shit you can't take back. So I tried to like dip my feet back in, kind of, and I unblocked her off everything. And then I started slow by liking stuff. She sent me a message, got mad because I wasn't responding, but I was just not ready to fully go in. So I ended up just blocking her again. But yeah, I don't regret it. I had a good time and I would do it again. I'm about to do the same shit in April again. So like, I don't regret it. Who was I beefing with on Instagram? Uh, Marla and then part of it was my brother, but we're not going to speak on my brother. What does my red bracelet mean and do I ever take it off? So, fun fact. This is a protection bracelet. Mostly Spanish people wear it. It's kind of weird because the hamsa, it has a hamsa but with an eye in the center. The hamsa is supposed to technically be worn on the right, but it's on my left. So, it's kind of like weird. Yeah, it means protection. My mom tied it. So, it has, it's been on my arm for like a year and a half going on to maybe longer so what happened was i got around somebody when i came back to palm beach and it broke like I, we were in the gym and like it broke and then i knew i wasn't supposed to be around that person but it broke let's just say that it broke i know that person's not good for me so she ended up retying it and it hasn't fallen off since so and then I gifted Joey this, a red bracelet. You gotta be really special for me to give you a red bracelet. And people have asked me, but I'm not just giving out red bracelets. I feel like, I feel like Joey was on my wavelength. I, I, speaking of Joey, um, what happened with Joey slash the trainer? Nothing happened with him. Um, I feel like, we have some good memories, you feel me? Ain't never gonna been no beef. I miss training with him. I feel like he's the reason I found my passion and my drive for working out. I'm talking about, I used to be in the gym three times, like before our session, at our session, after our session, and then he would leave me after training with clients and I would still be in the gym. So I hope to get like, the fire is there, but I hope to get back that beast, like, working out like heavy 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 so um i did end up training with his girl at the time after him only because i feel like he got bigger than you know what he was um and i just still wanted that one-on-one -on -one. so if i was still in tempo i would be training with laura not him but i would still like go to like his little outdoor classes he's bringing that back his fit camp i would do that occasionally i was still i was still fuck with him so ain't no bad blood he could hit me up for whatever you feel me that's my dog and i feel like i feel like i miss that the whole conversation the whole the whole relationship friendship that was dope like i could rock with him ever did drugs define drugs <laughs> I've, you know, hit gas, trees, but other than that, nah. Do I prefer females or guys? Hmm. Wow. Um... Do I prefer females or guys? 
here's the thing. At a stage I'm in my life right now, I would like to have both on my roster. I prefer to have both on my roster. So, um, I do have a dream of marrying a guy. You know, I want to get married to a guy. But, you know, if we have a little fun one night and in a club, you know, and we bring a girl home, that's fine with me, too. But as I say, for dating-wise, I'll date both. So, I don't really have a preference. For right now, I would like to have both on my roster. So, dating-wise. So, you young, I hope y'all are dating around. You feel me? Ever had any STDs? No. Thank you, God. My last check was in November. After my last sexual partner. Please go get checked. Just because you're not having sex with other people don't mean they're not. So, thank you, God. Um... Last time I had some dick slashing pussy. <laughs> Last time I had some dick or some pussy. Um, pussy, it's been a minute. I'd say a year and a half, maybe. Dick, it's been since early November. Um, next question. Last time I kissed a girl. Probably like a week and a half ago, if we're being honest. I said, or maybe a week, a week and a half about. Uh, why was I so pissed at my brother? We're not speaking on my brother. Mm. 